Hey guys, this is going to be episode 2 of the tutorial series where we will discuss the three golden rules to playing Resistance. After this episode, you'll be ready for some actual games. Now, there are a couple things I forgot to mention in the last video, that is that all the spies know each other. They all appear red on their screen. On the other hand, all Resistance don't know each other. They don't know anyone. And everyone is shown in blue. Except for Merlin, who sees the identity of the spies who appear as red. So the spies will know who their partners are. Now, the other thing I may have forgotten to mention, or forgotten to emphasize, is that for a mission to be approved, for a team to be approved, there needs to be a majority number of approves. So more than half of the players need to vote approve. So if you have eight players, you can't have four approves, you need five approves, right? Now with that out of the way, let's get on to the three golden rules. So rule number one is to never approve something you are not on. The explanation to this is quite simple. If you are a resistance and you are not on the team, there is a higher chance that someone else who is a spy may be on it. On the other hand, if you are a spy, you are not on the team and you approve it knowing that your spy friend is on the mission and he or she fails it, you will most likely be accused of being a spy, and your partner will be upset as well. So rule number one, never approve something you are not on. Once you become more proficient at the game, you may decide to approve when you're not on, but that is at a later stage. But there is one exception to this rule that you do need to know right now, and that is rule number two, the second golden rule. The second golden rule is to always approve the hammer. Now what is the hammer? In Resistance, for every mission, there can be a maximum of five teams proposed. This is just to avoid the game going on forever and ever and for infinite teams to be picked, right? So for every mission, there can only be five proposals. Therefore, every fifth person picking has the final say of the team. And therefore, we call them the hammer. Imagine a judge slamming their hammer on the table when they're passing a final judgment or something. If the hammer is rejected, the resistance instantly lose, and the spies instantly win. So never reject hammer, always approve the hammer. This is one of the only exceptions really to rule number one. Now the final golden rule to resistance is the fail order. Now, let's say you are a spy, and your spy friend also, along with you, got picked on a mission. If you've played the board game before, you'll know that when you vote your success or fails, all of the success fail votes will be revealed. Now this is the same for online gameplay. If both of the spies press fail, it will say two players failed the mission. Now exposing two spies on the same team is hugely detrimental to spies and oftentimes causes an instant loss for spies. So to prevent this, we have a failing order. In other words, we have a set order on who fails first. Now the whole list looks like this. Oberon, Vanilla Spy, Assassin, Morgana, Mordred. I'll go into more detail of what these roles do in the future videos, because they are for 9-player and 10-player games. But for now, all you need to remember is this. Vanilla Spy fails first, next fails Assassin, and then Morgana finally fails. The left side fails first, the right side fails last. Okay. If you remember this, you'll be able to play from 5 to 8-player games. Now if you still don't quite understand how this works, don't worry. Keep watching the game videos in the future, and when we play a spy, I'll explain it again. It'll make much more sense then. Okay, so this wraps up episode 2. Episode 3 will just be a very quick, brief overview of the website interface, of what there is, some recommended settings that I would use, and then episode 4, hopefully, we can get straight into games. Okay, see you then.